Hi, Leo. Welcome to your weekend energy reading. It's going to be messages from spirit for this weekend. So it's from the 22nd to the 24th. Just going to see what's coming towards you. I put your birthday special up. It's already posted. So if you haven't watched that, find out what's coming towards you in the year ahead. And again, happy birthday, guys. this weekend, July 22nd to July 24th. Reaching destinations. Your light is shining brightly, which is what the past few readings have been saying. Very magical with the castle there. See how there's like little detours in the road, but you're good. You're rising above. You're transforming with that that um, butterfly there, it's like you're in a great energy. Dreams coming true, goals being reached. All right, messages for this weekend for my leaders. It's almost like there's a fire. I'll show you. A fire under your ass and you're getting things done 22 and 33 some of you could be traveling a little bit this weekend but it's almost like you're on the right path like I said you're going the right direction get more information very important details larger than life so there could be change coming towards you in the very near future. When you look back on this weekend, it's going to feel like that change has really, it just made things look much different weeks or a couple months out. What's coming towards you is definitely divinely guided. Definitely divinely guided. It's meant to be on your path. And it's going to make you very happy. You could be receiving a gift from someone. There could be a reconciliation for those of you that want that. It doesn't always have to be a reconciliation in terms of love. It could be like a friendship, a reconnection with somebody in your family. But attitude is gratitude. You, just, you definitely have that sense of just being accomplished, being successful. You actually might be starting something. For those of you that might want to start something up online, the message is coming out. So, you know, it's networking, marketing, social media, the internet. You could be dating online. And a connection comes in with the bouquet here. Like I said, some of you could be taking some trips, short day trips this weekend. Might be leaving for vacation but it's like you've you you have had that fi fire under your ass and you've been moving in the right direction and getting things done. It's like you know that you can reach your truest desires. All right. A message from the archangels for this weekend. What energy, what Archangel is guiding my Leos this weekend? Archangel Raphael, communion, coming together. For some of you, you might be at a party or a concert. Like, look at that. There's a lot of people. It's almost like a stadium. Concert, um, some kind of party, some kind of big get-together. Family, friend get together. 
you might meet someone for those of you that are single and you're at something like this. Energy check in for my names for the weekend spirit. Anything else? Okay. Frightened. I bravely face all obstacles. No doubt. Exhausted. I quiet my mind and relax my body. So guys, for some of you, you might, like I said, with that fire under your butt, you might feel like you've, you're constantly moving. You're constantly trying to get something off the ground, make something work, planning. Maybe this is the weekend that you take a break. Clarity. Look at that. The castle and look at this lamp. It's almost like Disney. It's like something magical. I'm going to put it right there because that's what I feel like when I look at that. All right. Spirit, what is coming towards my Leo's this weekend? What is coming towards my Leo's this weekend? Okay. Oh. I want it to come out. The strength is at the bottom. So you're showing up in your own reading. <clears throat> but look at this. There is an offer, an invitation coming your way. I feel like it was from somebody, like, because why I say the past, I feel like it was from someone in the past who completely didn't let you know how they felt. They kept it hidden. They thought maybe if they ignored it, it would go away. But it didn't. And it, it, exha it, it exhausted them. That could be you with the exhaustion here. That all, could also be you that might have held back their feelings for someone. And now you want to come forward and make them that offer, but you don't know how they're going to take it. So take the energy, you know, as it resonates. Always Take what resonates and then always head over and watch your rising moon and Venus sign readings. But it's like there's an offer coming from the past or you're reaching out to someone. With the seven of swords, I'm not getting negative energy in this. I'm getting like, you know, didn't, like I said, didn't completely tell you how they felt. You actually might be out and about with this communion here, this Archangel Raphael. You might be out and about because you might run into this person. It definitely a sense of feeling like abandoned and lost. It's like it hurt the heart chakra with this green energy here. And with the strength card, it's, you know, I really feel like if this, this is somebody coming towards you, it was a hard ending for them. A hard walking away. And now they want to come right for you. Water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio might have that, those signs in their, you know, might have water in their chart. But it's like they're coming right for you. Almost like they know what they lost. You reaching your destination, it very well could be this connection coming in. Even though they didn't tell you how they felt, you might not have ever really separated yourself from this connection. Please clarify the Seven of Swords. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, see, they had themselves feeling stuck. But now they're at a more peaceful state within themselves and they're traveling towards you. Yeah, for this new passionate beginning. To offer you their love. Anything else, Spirit? Since you're so on point. See, now I get it. The catalyst is the not having you in their life anymore. That's what ignited this. For them to go down the right path. For them to take the mask off. For them to do whatever self-work they needed to do. And to have that aha moment. This coming back around is definitely divinely guided. It's definitely destiny. 
and you're gonna be very happy with this offer. It's taken a toll on them with the exhausted. But I feel like your person has definitely faced their obstacles. You always have. And now they're coming towards their Leo and they want to work on it. I definitely feel like it's them who didn't take their mask off. Didn't let, let you know what they were feeling. They might not have even wanted to face what they were feeling. They might not have re felt ready for this connection. All right, I'm going to look for a number, a synchronicity to look out for. Pay attention to your thoughts and your environment when you see these numbers. Okay, got a lot more. Okay, 12. Creativity is a driving force in your life. Your imagination is rich and you are able to express your feelings and insights in unique ways that others can benefit from. I am a visionary. Pay attention to 12s. I am insightful. You are highly intuitive and creative. Your mind thinks in pictures and you see and you seem to draw information and ideas from out of the sky. A powerful drive to know the oneness of all things. independence and self sufficiency are necessi necessities to you card of 19 capable in life and in work and aren't afraid to take big risks to achieve the life you desire i am a pioneer all right and this is the last one 27 i am expressive your mind is wide open and you are tolerant and compassionate toward all ways of life. You value freedom of expression and want to improve the conditions of people, whether in your community, country, or the world at large. So guys, 12, 29, 19, and 27. And one final message. Star. Believe in yourself. You are a wonder of creation. Wash away all fear and discover you are a shining star. Allow all around you to just be. Let go of trying to control life or the light of your soul will guide you always for the light of your soul will guide you always towards love. Remember, stars are born through explosions of love. I love that. Remember, stars are born through ex explosions of love. Never, never. Love illuminates all things. Never forget you are truly a shining star. All right, Leo. <clears throat> so there's definitely this. Now that I see social media, this person might connect with you on social media. You might be out and you run into them. You might be on vacation and you run into them. But take that break if you're feeling exhausted this week, this weekend. And pay attention to 12 29, 19, and 27. Have a great weekend, and I will be back for many more readings. Love and light.